Justice League versus Godzilla versus Kong issue three. Mm-hmm. Brian Buccioletto writing with Christian Dus on the art. So last issue ended with Superman getting the 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 worst end of a heat vision atomic breath face off and getting yep. melted. Uh, yeah. but, but <laughs> face off his face. <laughs> He's worse for wear. <laughs> Godzilla took his face off. Yes. No. Oh, okay. Oh. Your face off reference. Uh, so this issue uh, gets to that. Although it doesn't start with that, it starts off with a bunch of Central City stuff with uh, mm-hmm. the Flash coming in and over Iron Heights. There's a giant spider that has Cthulhu tentacles <laughs> from its mouth. <laughs> so that's fun. Because why not? Yeah. yeah, why not? So he's dancing around all the villains, and I was thinking oh, maybe the villains are going to help him, but nah, that does mm-hmm. not happen. Supergirl mm-hmm. shows up though and helps sort of take away some of the toxic atmosphere that the spider's creating. Uh, yeah. Hal shows up as well, so we got a Green Lantern there, and they're all dealing with stuff. But Supergirl though hears that, or she she doesn't hear more more accurately. Mm-hmm. Uh, she can't hear Clark's heart. She's like, I can usually hear Superman's heartbeat anywhere in the world, but I don't hear it. I have to go. So she kind of just ditches them even though they kind of need her help. Um, And we see the aftermath of Godzilla roaring in the middle of the street as Billy Batson is trying to wake up a knocked out Superman Mm -hmm. Um, to the point where they think he's dead. Like, people are saying, oh, like, Superman's died. Yeah. Uh, And then we got this big cameo out of nowhere where you see this tease of a foot getting bigger in the street. And then you realize in the next page it's Atom Smasher who's grown as tall as Godzilla and try to fight him. Uh, and this is definitely out of continuity because Atom Smasher gets killed. Godzilla bites him in the neck and just uh, ends him. Is he? Is he? Oh, yes, it does. It killed them. Shoot. Oh, well, at the very least, Billy thinks he's dead. I mean, maybe he'll turn yeah, out to be wrong. Yeah, yeah, he's but... hurt. Like, he's no, no doubt about it. But look, um,. I, I was expected more of a Power Ranger fight here. I loved, <laughs> I love this. Like he goes, Adam Smasher goes for the the single leg, you know. Like uh, he's an actual wrestler on Godzilla, which yeah, good on you, man. You know. Um, but yeah, uh, it, it definitely gets dark. Yeah, that, was, that's it, for sure. It was some poor choices, and then Belly's like, "Look, get Superman's body out of here. I'll hold off Godzilla." And he he yeah. shouts Shazam, and the lightning bolt goes through Godzilla's chest, which is a pretty mm-hmm. badass moment. Uh, yep. And when he flies up to punch him, though, give him an uppercut, Supergirl has arrived and it ends up in a double punch. So that's a really nice... Yep. You, you don't know she's coming in the previous page. It's just... Yeah. The, there's like So it's a full-page spread of them punching Godzilla, but there's a, sort of, mm-hmm. there's a, a thin panel on the left to sort of give you a close-up yep. of the fists first. And that's where you first see her. You see her fists come in on that panel. So it's a really mm-hmm. nice, it's, the, the pacing is quite nice here, I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, and yeah. then you get a two-page layout, so there's a nice big horizontal panel of Godzilla landing in a building. So it's, they've basically knocked him out for a little bit, but they know he's going to get back mm-hmm. up. It's not permanent, yeah. but it's like, okay. This gives us time to deal with Superman. So Kara says, get him to the fortress. So Hot Girl's flying him to the fortress as Supergirl goes off to fly and maybe help someone else. Uh, so he goes back to Iron Heights, we find out eventually. But... Um, uh-huh. Yeah, so yeah, the Hal and Barry are doing their best to try and fight this spider thing, uh, to the point where uh, some of the rogues even kind of seem seem to start helping. Uh, mm-hmm. But the Legion of Doom are here to try and get the other villains to get their ranks built up, as they're also looking for Toy Man because he started all this shit. So they're mad at him. Um, so that stuff's fun. Uh, we also see a little bit more of uh. Themyscira with the big mammoth and uh, Donna and Wonder Woman have this insane plan to use both their lassos to try and like communicate with the big beast uh, yeah. but it's kind of cut short because something calls the beast away like he's hearing a, a signal so he, he goes mm-hmm. off into the distance uh, and that becomes something that we, we kind of become aware of by the end uh, go back to Iron Heights, Superman, or sorry Supergirl shows up and helps fight the big spider, Flash is doing his tornado mm-hmm. arms, and all the rest of it. Uh, and then we jump back to Skull Island, because if you remember, Oliver <laughs> landed there yeah. last time. So uh, we get a little bit of King Kong fighting a random monster, and uh, mm-hmm. King Kong looking down at him. Uh, my favorite part of this, though, is that Supergirl also comes here. She flies to, to Skull Island. It's a very Supergirl-heavy issue, which is kind of cool. Uh, yeah. she, she comes to Skull Island. Kong sees her... And he sort of slows down, and he sort of 
puts his hand up to her and I'm like, oh yeah, he likes blondes. He's probably trying yeah. to take Supergirl as his next, uh, his next uh-huh. uh, girl. And Supergirl's like, F that, and punches him in the face, which made me laugh out loud. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I wanted her to yell manners. I really wanted her to. Uh, um, I just love the idea that she actually hurts him though because he's holding his nose after like, what the hell? Well, <laughs> well then, he, then he has like a fit, right? He starts beating his chest and yelling and, yeah. you know, yeah. So, uh, I need more Kong though. This this is a fun series, but it's been short on Kong, and he's in the title. So, you know, give, give eh, me more, please. This, this had the right amount. Uh, so, no. uh, we go to Gotham, which is the one the one mm-hmm. team that's managed to take down their monster because uh, uh-huh. because you know, cause Batman. Uh, so, uh, mm-hmm. they've taken down their big Bat monster, and they're talking about what to do. And Shazam shows up and is like superman's dead and i actually kind of love the reaction here i think the art gets a little wonky um yeah but i did love the reaction here from batman where he's like nope we're not telling lois no one's pronouncing him dead until i've checked the goddamn body Mm -hmm. right like i'm going to do that properly so i thought that was uh that was cool uh Anyway, there was a lot of jumping around here. Like the first half was quite focused, and then it was jumping yeah. around the locations quite a bit, which is not a complaint. It all flowed well enough in the in the reading. Um, mm-hmm. But the end of the issue is that the, the signal that's drawing all the monsters somewhere in the south... Uh, it's in the Chihuahuan Desert in Mexico. Uh, it was, oh, it was Mexico. Um, yep. It's Lex. He's turned on some giant beacon thing that's attracting mm-hmm. them all here. It so, looks like a gigantic Hal from 2001. Yeah. I can't yeah. imagine what Lex has got concocted in here, what his plan is. Yeah. But he's, uh, he's got something going. Uh, but For very, sure. Very interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, this continues to be a lot of fun. I, I think them really selling the idea that Superman's almost... It's almost like when Superman fought Doomsday. That's what fighting Godzilla was mm-hmm. like. It's, it's really put him out. And yep. They're they're all worried about him. That that gives it some weight. Um, I like Supergirl getting a bit of a spotlight and going around and like mm-hmm. helping solve various uh, crises at once. Uh, really nice. Uh, I always love a good bit of Hal and Barry uh, bantering. So them working together mm-hmm. is also good fun. Uh, yeah, I mean it's hard not to have a good time with this. Um, favorite moment was probably Kong trying to grab Supergirl because he's like ooh blonde yeah. and her just punching him and it hurt him <laughs> and. I- I know you probably haven't watched WWE in a long time, but uh-huh. from the highlights from uh, it was when they put Otis and Mandy Rose together, and he would just yell "Pretty lady." That that was the same vibe that I had a Kong looking at at, at Kara. So mm. you know that gave me quite quite the laugh. But yeah, um, didn't even factor into the whole Kong blonde thing uh, until right now. You know, because we had Ollie there, right? He's, he's not going to go, oh, he's a blonde, but not, you know, not like Kara is. So um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the hell Behemoth is. Is it a mammoth? Is it a sloth with tusks? Like, what is this thing? Because it doesn't have, it doesn't have the nose. You know? It's a titan. It's a made up monster. It could be whatever it wants. Yes, I know this, but still, like, what, like, because the titans even, they, they have a general vibe to them, right? Like, Mothra's a giant moth. Rodan's a pterodactyl, right? Like, what? what is he? Now, I'm going to have to go back and watch King of the Monsters, but I know we don't really get a good view of Behemoth, right? Uh, no, he's not a big prominent part of it, now. Yeah, so, good fun time. I- I'm still having a blast reading this. It's a- It's been a good month or two for Godzilla as a, as a overall thing. And uh, mm-hmm. I, I love the weight that they've given him and how difficult the heroes are finding fighting him. Obviously, once he goes up against Batman, it's more of an even match. So we'll see how that plays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I do like that Shazam and, and Kara, though, are able to knock down Godzilla because it does make him seem like less of a force of nature, you know? But it also shows that Superman trying to reason with him was the weakness. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say it doesn't make him a force. Reason- I wouldn't say it doesn't make him a force of nature. I would say that... Okay, mm-hmm. Superman on his own couldn't stand a chance, but two yeah. Superman-powered people punching at the same time right. at least gets him down. Not for long, admittedly, but it does at least right. put him down. So it, it gives us a bit of a, a barometer for, okay, if two two people with that power level can knock him down, then if we get a whole team of people, then what can we accomplish then, kind of thing. 
Yeah. Um. So we'll we'll see. I just hope this doesn't try to do the Kong's the good one that'll be on the hero side nonsense. We don't need that. No, because I feel like this is building to whatever Lex is unleashing. Mm. Right? Is I feel you know I feel like this is going the Mecha Godzilla kind of route. You know. Um, so they're gonna have um, to team up. Maybe Lex spells Mecha Godzilla. I mean, seems yeah. like a very Lex thing to do. Yeah, but it's gotta have a big bald head, right? <laughs> it's just Mecha Godzilla with a big bald head. I think that'd be real funny. Well, it's not like Mecha Godzilla usually has hair. No, but he has the fin on the top, right? Like he has the ridge thing. Oh, I, mean, I suppose. I mean, yeah. I mean. <laughs> It's not much of a difference. I feel like you're yeah. you're describing Big Mecha Lex rather than Big Mecha yeah. Godzilla. <laughs> I mean, why not Mecha Lex? Plus, that sounds that sounds like you know Godzilla versus Mecha Lex sounds like an actual movie, right? <laughs> versus Mecha Lex. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, I don't know if they're going to pull the whole thing where Godzilla and Kong are technically on the good side by the yeah. end because of whatever Lex is unleashed, but it yeah. wouldn't surprise me if they do that. Um, yeah. But I'm not sure how we get there from here quite yet. But that's fine. Neither. We're, we're only three yeah. issues in. Uh, and this is, uh, I think, seven issues. Uh, so we'll, I believe so. So we'll, 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 see, we'll see how it pads out. Um, yeah. Yeah, like I say, like I think the art here or there is a little wonky on some faces. Like that, that Batman. Mm -hmm. As much as I like the moment from what what the moment is and what the dialogue is, I think Batman looks a bit weird as he says he's not dead. Mm -hmm. Uh, kind of a weird shading thing going on. Um, where he's he, he looks. I don't know. He's got kind of a like the new True Lies 4K remaster that's been overly AI'd and DNR'd and looks unnatural <laughs> and fake. Uh, it kind of looks a little bit like that. But in comic art form. <laughs> very, very hyper specific. Uh, well, it's disappointing. I've been waiting 20 years for a decent yeah. transfer on True yeah, Lies and they've butchered it with technology, the that's, bastards. That's a shame. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's Justice League versus Godzilla versus Kong. It's uh, it's solid good fun. What are you rating issue three? Um, I'll go with 7.5. Uh, yeah, I can agree with that, I think. 7.5 sounds good. 